Hi, I'm Peter and today I'm going to show you how to install uh, Windows 7 to uh, to the Mac uh, without uh, SuperDrive and without uh, USB uh, through the VirtualBox from Oracle. So uh, first thing we uh, we need to do is create a bootcamp partition for for your Windows 7. So just type uh, in Spotlight uh, bootcamp assistant, run it, and uh, I have partition already already created. So uh, check this box. Uh, you will uh, there will be. Uh, something like install Windows 7 and create a partition. I create uh, the partition about uh, 60 gigabytes. Okay, so after that step uh, you will have a new disk uh, with the name Bootcamp. Uh, I already uh, use it and rename it, this disk, uh, but uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, you will be uh, you. Your name will be Bootcamp. Okay. So the first thing uh, we need to do uh, is uh, uh, to uh, to check what what partition is your Bootcamp disk is. So run the disk utility. Okay, and click on your new disk on bootcamp and click in the info and this is what you want to know so write it down so it's disk 0 partition 4 okay now uh, we need to uh, install your VirtualBox from Oracle. You can download it for free. And if you have installed it, so just run it and create new virtual machine. So click new. For example, Windows 7, 42 bit system. Allocate uh, RAM memory. Okay, and click the not at any any HD. Click create. Okay, now we have a virtual machine, but uh, without uh, any any hard disk. So we need to create uh, the file. Uh, of the hard disk okay and it will be create uh, for first we need to unmount uh, your bootcamp disk so click here and click unmount the disk okay so the second thing is to create the files for the disk mm, we need to uh, we need to add uh, the another security for the disk so type uh, first type uh, this command uh, I will add all, all of commands below the video so uh, it's okay so uh, type your administer password okay we have uh, new permissions for disk uh, now type uh, da, da, da. Now we need to type this command and create the bootcamp uh, vmdk file. Okay, so click this and we will have, yes, we have here two files. Uh, with the name bootcamp okay just copy it and put it to your win7 directory 
okay to continue type your administer password okay it's there uh, now we need to uh, to go to this directory so Okay, we are here. This is our two files and type the chown, uh, chown command. Okay. Now we have all prepared to attach this disk uh, to your virtual machine. So click settings and the hard drives. Uh, here you need to change the type for ICH6 and click the plus and choose the existing disk and our bootcamp VMDK. Just click open. Okay, so ICH6. Okay, we have the bootcamp disk attach and, uh, and now um, again uh, settings and and here to your virtual uh, virtual uh, CD drive uh, just put uh, the ISO image of Windows 7 I have my ISO image on desktop so just choose it okay and now we can to boot so run the virtual machine okay and now is Windows is loading files Our goal is to to restart uh, your computer after first reboot of the virtual machine because uh, if you let the installation uh, to be done uh, in your virtual machine, uh, then uh, then the Windows boot game is not uh, bootable from. Uh, from uh, your computer directly because uh, there is some uh, some drivers issues so our goal is to let the all files for the installation to be copied to your to your bootcamp and everything but then we need to restart uh, restart it to your to your real machine after first reboot of uh, of this uh, of this installation. Okay. Now we choose our settings. Click next. Install now. Okay. So the license terms choose custom and click on your on your bootcamp partition be sure that is the partition uh, of your bootcamp uh, probably uh, you will not be able to install it uh, for the first time but uh, you will need to to format uh, your your bootcamp partition. So it's uh, click uh, drive options and click form format this disk. Okay, and your disk will be ready for the installation.
OK, click Next and let the installer to copy or your files. OK, after I think these two phases, uh, the first reboot uh, will raise up. So after that, we need to shut down the virtual machine. Okay, now we are ready to reboot and leave the machine uh, to reboot and now just power off the virtual, virtual machine and close the virtual box. Okay. okay, another thing you need to do is to install refit. So move the EF5 folder right here. Okay, now the refit is installed. Okay, and after that, uh, just open the terminal and put it here your EF5 folder, uh, type CD. AFI, okay, AFI, CD, refit, and type this, enable dot sh, type your password, and now a refit is installed, so we are ready to restart your computer and hold down your option option key option key now we can see a refit option boot from the windows partition okay we can get some message okay after you can see your uh, Windows partition in uh, refit options, so uh, you just uh, again boot to your Mac OS and uh, delete all the files from the previous installation of uh, Windows from your bootcamp. Uh, for do this, you need to install some uh, NTFS. Uh, NTFS protocol, uh, I put the link below the video. Uh, okay, so erase whole HD. Okay, after you have uh, all data from your bootcamp partition wipe out, so uh, copy copy there uh, the installation files from um, from your uh, Windows ISO or from your install uh, USB uh, again to this bootcamp partition and wait for for all files are ready because it's through the NTFI um, NTFS protocol, so it's uh, really slow, so be patient. Okay, so now we have all 
uh, copied installation of the windows of the windows is uh, copied to your bootcamp and now we're going to restart your computer okay hold down option key and choose the refit and windows partition and voila now windows loading files and the original uh, original uh, install is starting again but now on the real uh, on the real computer so that's it and let's proceed the whole uh, setup of the Windows 7 yeah. thank you for watching and have a nice day bye